What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Oh my god, the lighting looks really really good. Our Nordstrom Mac by the Houston Galleria. They're doing an additional 40% off clearance. I wasn't gonna film this video on Thursday, but it started today out as a Wednesday, which is weird because promotions usually start on they usually start like on Thursdays or Fridays, not Wednesdays, which is really weird. But you know, we're here, we're here, we're here. I was like, you know, Sergio, you're five minutes away. Let's go ahead and go. So my bag of the day, a little gay Gucci bag. And let's go ahead and go in and see what type of goodies we can find here at North Mac. And I think we have enough time to go maybe to like another two locations. We'll see um, what the time frame and what we're working with um, here when we leave this location, which is, like I said, the one by the gallery. Here it is. I'm wearing this rain jacket because it was raining all day earlier today. And so um, that's why I was wearing my little nylon jacket. So we're in here and then this one had like a Valentino tag. I guess somebody took it and like they put it on touch on this one right here. So I'm kind of doing my rounds. I should have honestly came here a lot earlier. I did find this rag and bone little hoodie. It's 42 and then you get the extra percentage off that I find everything. Oh my God, this is so cute. This little vest, little Ralph Lauren. It usually gets really good things. This one looks really huge. I would be like a size two, but this is like literally $24. But hopefully we find some good, good stuff here. Oh my God, this is adorable. This ATM. This is so cute. This is really good quality. So that's a 40% off. It's the end of season sale. So something like this would be 40, 50, 60, it would be $90. That Veronica beard. But like I said, this is a rack that usually gets the most good designer items. Frame shorts for 52. Well, imagine if I still worked here, I would get like an extra look Prada skirt. Let's get out of nylon. Oh, Veronica Beard Blazer. This would be $120. This looks kind of off-season, though, but, you know, sometimes you can find on-season Veronica Beard items, but St. Laurent dress, $6.49. This polka dot one. Super cute. This navy Veronica Beard Blazer, $194. This is super cute. $120. It's a really pretty Veronica Beard. I love the blue. I've been into the color blue a lot. So this isn't a size... Eight. Actually, I'll try this on. Let's look at some denim. Usually, denim is always kind of a good thing that I always have uh, have fun finding here at the rack. I feel like I, there's never a time where I don't find denim. But, you know, it could always be very much hit or miss, as we could say. But I'm super, super excited for the few things that I found. So $60, good legs. Uh, size eight. that's size 18 that's they have that here but usually i always tell people to look through the entire racks just because um things can be like an in cap things can be kind of all over the place and so it's kind of good to to look through everything or just kind of put like maybe if you're like a 29 go through like 32 to maybe 27 and you can you never know what you're gonna find like i bet you if i go to the in cap right here that's gonna be probably different um sizes that Oh, these made jeans are actually really cute. I like the wash on them. Oh, this is a really good Spanx find. You don't see Spanx like full price items here too a lot, but these are kind of like these kind of like pant type looking. That's a really good price. Oh, it's my lucky day. I found some aloe yoga leggings and I kind of like the little pocket detail. These are so cute. I like the pockets on them because they look kind of like a mixture of like a pant, but it's actually a legging and it's in my size too. Because I, I have found like aloe leggings, but they're usually like not my size. So usually like an extra small or usually like a size too big or too small. These are cute. Like these little boxer shorts are very popular. Uh, the Frankie shop has like a lot of them. I'm thinking about adding one, but I feel like they, they're actually, since I'm a guy, I feel like they're going to look more like underwear, so I feel like, meh, I don't know. This brand, Maria McClan, McManus. They're kind of cute. I wish they had belt loops, though. I don't really like pants that don't have belt loops as much because I find that, um, I don't know, especially if you, like, get bloated, you kind of, like, adjust in waist, and sometimes the pants 
don't sit well. And so, I don't know, I'm trying to like pants that have a little bit more um, belt loops on them because I find that it's a little bit more um, better. They have these uh, Hugo Boss like thick, thick pants. They're size small, they're $60. Oh my God, look, look. Oh my God, somebody, see I told you, somebody put all their little finds here. It says large, those little NQC. I don't know what this is, but it's like a dress, so it's not for me. These little medium Al Z by Zella. Oh no, regular Zella. These pants from Boss are $60. Oh my God, some of these jeans. I found some of the, I think this is like this, that, that popular brand, it's refurbished. I'm gonna look into those in a second. It's not get copy written. Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to post this two times. I wanna take off the music for the copy written. These are cute. I like how fluffy they are, 37. Like, super, super cute. These Steve Maddens are 71. Not say C Madden, Sam Edelman, I keep in the Hoyo. Kyoso. These shoes have been meh. Like, I don't know, for a while at the rack. I feel like I haven't been, I haven't found like a lot of good shoes at the rack. Um these last couple of seasons. I feel like they've all they've all been kind of meh. Let's look at clearance size eleven. But like I said, even for those shoes, like I always go around to see what type of sizes that they have. These are a really great price. See by Chloe, 76. These are really pretty. Oh my god. Ugg boots in my size for $52.97. Shut up. Oh my god. You're coming home with me. You're off season, but $52. I cannot see plus. Well, I don't know. Do shoes have 40% off? I don't know. I think they do. That's it. That'd be really, really great. Great How do we feel about these good Americans? They're 169, they're here for 35, and you get the additional 40% off. That's crazy. But I don't know, they're kind of cute, not gonna lie. This looks like the Frankie shop jacket, and then I need to be one that they did a few seasons back. This is 52. Sucky brand, it's a woman's small. I don't know why it's in the men's section, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was really cute. Got a basket because I felt like I needed one. And then kind of right now, I'm kind of like skimming through men's um, just to see what I could find. So outfit, this is from Hugo Boss. Celine Montclair rain jacket. It has the Montclair logo throughout it. Hey, Goldie Jeans and Golden Goose. I'm gonna try on these Kasubi pants. These are actually men's, um, and these retail for $220. I saw this. I thought $35 wasn't a bad price, even though it's an assorted. Um, it's a woman's size 12, but you guys know I like my things oversized, and I have a blue one from Brandy. Now that I see this, I saw a stain, so probably not. So I'll put that there. I'm gonna try on this Veronica Beard blazer. And then I have the aloe leggings, which is probably like the most exciting thing. And then these pants from Hugo Boss. It's a little too light on me. I feel like it kind of washes me out with my skin tone, but it's super cute though. Size eight, there's a size 10 on the floor. I feel like this is like, the material's a little bit too like constructive. So I think a size 10 would fit me better. And honestly for $120, I don't think it's bad for a Veronica Beard blazer. Okay, these fit me how I thought they were gonna fit me. Really good in the back. Obviously I need to adjust this, but it's fine. And I like the material, but this is very comfortable. Girl, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Allo, I love you so much. I'm too lazy to try them on, but I already know they're gonna fit me. You could just tell. And then I already have some Club Monaco ones. And they're already cut and if i buy these i have to cut them they have some full season coach bags which i thought was weird why they have them here so i literally at north park i saw these ones on a mannequin on the second level in indy vsc uh, i'm not sure how i feel about that one but they have a lot of the moschino bags back like 374 they have them all on sale but i told you guys from the beginning i always felt like these moschino bags were a little pricey they have, oh, they just had the pink one. They just sold it. It was like $700 plus 40% off. So, I mean, whoever bought it is a good deal. This one's on sale too, but I feel like these ones, they always kind of go on sale. Like $1,200 plus 40 is not bad. But I'm pretty sure you can get one on Fashion Fall for like even cheaper. And they have some belts. 
but eh, not the not the best ones. I do like this Ferragamo duffel though. This this duffel is really really pretty. It's like a little speedy. It's 900 and then you get the extra 40. I believe the bags are included. I could be wrong. But at this studio, I prefer the studio though. I love the studio bag by Salvador Ferragamo. When we carried Ferragamo at Nordstrom, I loved it so much. They have a lot of uh, 14 karat gold, Bonnie Levy, this huge chunky Lagos bracelet, and then all of these sunglasses, and they have some Gucci shoes. But all this little Burberry and all these were 40 because they were they were showing up additional 40 on the website so I'm pretty sure these are all but I don't know I'm just not a spark person I've always tried to getting into them I always see this every time here I've seen this is super cute but I don't know I'm just not really like a big scarf person do my thumbnail I usually try to do it um, in every store and I pick which one is like the most grabbing attention one and then I kind of go from there. And then also shout out to a, my one of my beautiful subscribers, Norma. I, oh my God, this line though. I'm gonna be here for an eternity. But shout out to one of my subscribers, Norma. I saw her and we chatted it up a little bit. You guys always know, I love to see my subscribers when I'm out and about, but oh my God, this line, super, super crazy. I have a lot of fun glasses. I have a whole Gucci bathing suit, a key for $4.49. Gucci, Fucci, Pucci. It kind of looks a little bit of everything from this angle. I cannot believe I found some Uggs for like $35 with tax. Like that is absolutely insane. And some aloe leggings and those Kasubi jeans. Now the Kasubi or Kasabi jeans, I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping them. I may give them to my little brother, but then also I can give them to my friend too. But we shall see. Um, I'll try them on. If they're really skinny, my brother's not going to want them. So um, I came out as a winner. Oh, my God. I've been wanting to, to add some black classic Ugg boots. And so now I have them. And I got them for really inexpensive. So I came out winning. Super, super excited. And now let's go ahead and run to the other rack. Location number two. I believe I found Bailey Bows for like 35 bucks. Bailey motherfucking Bows. Bailey Bows. Hey, Bailey, como se dice bow in español? Girl, I had brain fart the other day. I went to a Mexican restaurant and the girl didn't speak English. Y le dije, can I get el, me hace el check, el check. Y se me puede interpretar la cuenta. Que dice, oh, me hace el cheque. Pero my cousin Kirk is like, no, pendejo, es el, la cuenta. So, you know, I'm obviously getting a little bit better at my Spanish. But I always tell people, like, if I say something bad, or like I mispronounce something, girl, feel free to correct me. Like, I'm like a no sabo kid, as much as I hate to admit that I am one. Loki, I kind of am, but at least, at least I attempt to speak Spanish. At least I'm not like, I think, did I drop something? At least I'm not like some of my other friends where they just straight up don't speak, like, they are too embarrassed to even try speaking Spanish. Y le dan como vergüenza. Oh, my mom had something like this growing up. Oh, that's actually really cute. It reminds me of my mom. Made for here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I know some of you guys have been telling me, oh, I don't shop really outlet product, but if it's cute, girl, like that's the Madden bag, the one that's like black, brown, and white, that's cute. But you know, I mean, everybody has their own personal preference. So I always tell people, if you love it, then you should wear it. Oh, they do this beauty cycle where your empties, you can actually throw them away here. Like they'll dispose of it, which I think is a clever marketing tactic to get you into the store and to kind of shop around. You know what Nordstrom should do is that they should do a $5 off your next purchase. Kind of like how they do at Kohl's. And people watch people are gonna start putting their recycling a little bit more. And that $5 would be a really great incentive for people to cut, get them through the door. So if anybody from Nordstrom Corporate's watching, I done gave y'all a brilliant, beautiful idea. I wonder what this is. It's, it's Valentino and it says eighty dollars. Did up this was sniffing glue won't keep the family to get families together. I'm actually gonna post it on my Instagram. That's actually really funny. It's like a Subi top. That should actually not even be here. It should be, um, it should be in men. Ooh, barefoot dreams little joggers, fifty two ninety seven plus the forty percent off. Cotton Citizen. I have some shorts from Cotton Citizen. And let me tell you, they are. Comfortable. Oh my god, my tia Carmelita would love something like this. She loves anything animal, print, or stuff like that. She loves things like that. This is super, super, super cute. Oh, this Vince sweater is super cute. From 425 and it's 135 and it has the additional. 
Oh, this is really pretty. I love the color of this. It's super cute, but it is off season. They do have a little bit of refurbished shoes. These stowed ones are really cute, but you know, I'm not a heels type person. If I were to, oh my God, if I were to wear heels, I would wear them, oh my God. Some Balmain boots. Oh my God, they're in a size 43. Oh my God. Oh my God, these are everything. They'll be like 350. I mean, I'm not a Balmain girl and I don't have anything to match with them, but ooh la la, que padres. I saw the whole B, I'm like, B is for Balmain. That, like, that font, like that kind of buggly. I can I already can observe for what it is, but there are like another like these Aerial Souls 52 refurbished. Oh, this one's really cute. This Valentino. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is so cute. This one's kind of cute. This Carhartt one. Like, this is like a good oversize. I'm gonna go to one more North Shermac. I don't know. Last time when I came here, I really didn't find a whole lot. But we're just gonna test our luck because you never know. My, my pinko bag, my little Mew Mew, uh, a little pouch that holds my keys, a lot of sneakers, girlfriend jeans, and it's like kind of weird Burberry graphic tee. I don't know. I feel like wearing it today. And my St. Juan glasses, which I'll kind of leave right there. Because um, I always forget that the they always touch out my shirts. So I prefer them when they're like that. Okay, so they have a lot of glasses. If they're all in the case. That means that they, it's a sh high shrinkage item in this location. Oh my God, they have an Alexander McQueen scarf for 187 that has 40% off. Beauty is a birthright. Um, they have a Gucci bag. Pretty, and you get the 40% off. So it'll be like, what, like 120? That's actually not a bad price. Uh, and then Gucci, but these are all kind of like not made for here, but they're like bought for Nordstrom Rack. Oh my god, they have a Gucci uh, fanny pack right there. It's thirteen hundred dollars. I don't think that ever retail for thirteen hundred dollars. So, oh my god, not gonna lie, this great cook guy here is so kind of cute, kind of cute. And then I have a big Kurt girl, the one thirty. She's kind of cute. I, I like how it's kind of like the the flag from um, the UK. Oh my God. Some frame cream jeans, size 26 or 54. Oh, these are cute. Oh my God. So we already have found a score. A score, guys. Score. Frame. That's it. Some Mato jeans for um, four, eight, and two for eighteen dollars. These are cute. Gonna try them on. I'm not a big particular fan of Madewell denim a whole lot. Well, um, let me take that back. I'm just not, um, I haven't found the perfect fit. I haven't went into like a Madewell store and actually tried them on. Like these thick and not shorts. 103, and it has like this kind of weird print on it, but I don't really like the print on it. Um, see, even if it's like 86, like my old shopping habits would have bought this, would have bought this, and then I would have been stuck with like a lot of like, Mitch match items, but I kind of am I'm a little more thoughtful about what I purchase nowadays. Um, let's start with medium. I know, see, what do you see? We're fresh. Oh my god, let's see what it is. Oh, it's it's something that I wouldn't wear. All Saints, I mean, I would wear All Saints, but I don't like that's a cold sleeve sh shoulder top. I'm not a cold sleeve shoulder top type of girl. One state sweater, a little white one. They have a little Lafayette. Actually, they have good stuff here. I don't know, maybe when I came here, when I first moved here, it was around quality time, so maybe it was like a little picked over. We have Millie in the house. Um, maybe that's why, but I feel like I'm getting, oh my God, my friend Connie would love this. Oh my God, Hugo Boss, the sequin moment. How much do we want for you? 118. Oh, I kind of like the details. I like the buttons on here. Ooh la la, super cute. Made with sweater. Oh my god, I need to try this. This is cute. I like the C. Um, I keep telling you guys, I feel like it's the. I mean, there's actually like a lot of racks for clothing. Like one, I maybe two items can pay whatever 
Oh my god, I found an ATM top. I never find ATM tops. Oh my god, 15 bucks from 68. Yes, please. Oh my god, I found a pair of Prada shoes for 70% off. And they have the show 40% off. So for a 19 12, they'll be 100 and around like 180 with tax. Cute. These will never fit my wife's foot. My wife's foot can never. But um, I'm not finding any other like luck in shoes. You guys already know I'm not the best when it comes to shoe luck. Oh, look, I found a Canali. Um, that's actually a pretty good price, but mm, not my style. Kind of going through them, seeing what I can find. I could have sworn this is recent. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's see what we have. So this is the Burberry shirt that I was telling you about, the graphic. Let's show you the items. Oh my god, so first of all, we have this Reformation. I think this is cashmere. 148 for 36.97. Keep in mind, everything's 40% off. Oh, I just saw Mark. See, the, I, I couldn't catch it from a naked eye. Now I see it there, but I feel like it'll come off. We have an ATM top. We have a Madewell sweater for literally $12. We have this. Now that I saw the other Reformation, I'm I'm not gonna get this one, so. No, thank you. Then we had some Mabel jeans for $18, and then some frame jeans for 54 And so we have five items to try on, and let's try them all on. This is how the sweater fits. This is in a size medium. Um, I'm usually not a big, like, sweatery person, just because I feel like it makes me look fat, like, not that fat. I mean, it makes me look fat. I mean, I'm not that fat, but a little bit. But you see, kind of like bunches up. Them, but um, I'm not sure. I feel like I look kind of pregnant in this. I feel like I'm gonna carry my child. Oh yeah, I love this top. It's size large. It's a little bit on the boxy side, so it kind of like covers up kind of like my trouble area, which is my front. It makes any denim that would wear it look good because it shows more of the pockets. Um, this is a really great find. I really like this, and I like that it's flowy. I like that it shows a little bit of skin, but like not super much. And yeah, this is definitely a yes. Okay, this one's like the TikTok video where it's like, no, and then like the spot too. This is why I remember why I don't really like frame jeans. You see how like low it is. You see how low this this inseam is. It should be a little. It should be rising up a little bit more. Like, it looks good for my figure because it's not like super high water, but I wish uh, it was higher waisted because I don't feel secure kind of like in my tummy. So I actually like the jeans because they actually fit me. So normally all of my denim, I get them either hemmed or I buy them off to like my ankle. So I like how these ones, like they need no alterations, but they're long, like I don't have long jeans. Now the wash, Mm, the wash is, I, I like it. It's a little bit on, like, it looks more blue in camera, but it's a little bit more lighter. In the back, they cuff me very well. They seem like, they'll have, they, like, they seem pretty comfortable. They don't seem like they're going to bother me. They just look like a black, um, they look like a staple blue jean. So, I think that these ones are yes, and they're only $18, so. This is like literally a cute outfit. Like, literally super, super cute. Um, now I kind of want to go to the next one, so I guess yeah, I'm a little bothered. I only came the parking lot for your destination. Thank you, Siri. Thank you for saying that. I came here just for you guys. Well, also they don't do 40 as often. If it was a regular clear rack, I would have been like meh. But they do have the 41. This was like literally like a 30 minute drive. I think there's like Arrived. okay. Thank you, Siri. I appreciate you. I think <laughs> I think there's like two more Nordstrom racks in Houston. Those one at the Woodlands, which I don't feel like driving all the way to the Woodlands. I literally live by the gallery that's like, and the traffic there is insane. And then I think there's another one that's attached to a mall. So this will be my fourth and my last one. Oh my God, I found some mid-wheel jeans, but they literally have like two racks of like, that's the hole, that's where it's refurbished, but they literally have racks of coats. You guys know I'm a coat person. So we're just gonna, skip. oh my God, look at this leather. Oh, so soft to the touch. If this was my size, I would buy it, even though it's $500, but it's $1,300 retail, and you can feel it has, like, a good weight to it. But for the coats, let's see what we can find. This thing, I did not know that Claire B made clothes, but apparently she does. This is actually not, this is actually not that bad. It's actually pretty cute. So now I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. 
um, it is quite a bit of fun thing so the 40% off I believe by the time this video is up has already ended but you guys know I always go to Nordstrom Rack uh, you never know what you're gonna find and I will put my favorite to my least favorite location in Houston in the description box and the number of locations that I went to in this video there are six Nordstrom Racks in Houston and I went to four out of the six so just FYI I'm gonna show you some of the items that I picked up the first one are going to be these Ugg boots you guys know I I know in the video I said Bailey bows like I got Bailey bows Bailey bows um, they're the Bailey buttons I don't know why I keep saying bow I was just super hyped that I found Ugg boots so my classic chestnut ones I bought those for 54 and I got them 20% off when I worked at Nordstrom in Arlington Texas I got these ones these are in a size 10 I have Bought these in a size 11 before, I think uh, a Denver rack, like a year ago, and, but I ended up giving those to my friend because I, I, I wanted a size 10 out of a size 11. And these ones were $52.97 and I got the extra 40% uh, off and they're just the classic ones. I feel like this is a boot that never really goes out of style. You, you I feel like everybody always kind of has a pair of Ugg boots in their collection and I was like, you know what, um, I'm never going to find them for this price. I think they're pretty reasonable. Obviously, these are off-season, but from almost $200 with tax, and I paid about $30, bucks, about 85% off savings for some classic black Ugg. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy them, and I know that these are going to be a great item to have next year, and I do like to wear Ugg boots, especially when I'm in Dallas in the winter or when I travel. Um, it's just like a nice shoe to have around the hotel room or to kind of run a little bit of errands. This is definitely not something that I would wear to the mall. This is not something that I would wear to the club. This is not something that I would wear for that type of attire. But um, Ugg boots do come in handy, and I just love to wear them, especially when my feet get a little cold. So this was a wonderful purchase. Um, the next items are going to be things that I picked up for my friend Paulette. So I ended up paying like not even $50 for these three items, which is a phenomenal deal. She always says that I never ever find things for her. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to find things for you this time around. And so I ended up see you need to get yourselves a good Sergio secret friend, a good get a Sergio in your life because you, you know, maybe your good Virgo always comes in your life. Things that I tried on, I actually ended up giving them to her because she wanted them. And then I found these little, like, little darker blue ones. I actually really like the wash of this one. This reminds me of a wash that I had in high school, like a pair of guest jeans. Um, these both retail for $128, and they ended up being about 18 bucks a piece. So $18 for good quality jeans that have no branding, that are in her size, that have no distressing, nothing crazy. This is more of a straight leg, this is more of a skinny. Um, but you can never go wrong with classic denim pants. Like, oh, should I get them? Should I not? What do you think? And I said, girl, not even American Eagle jeans, not even jeans at like H&M are going to run you $18. They're at least going to be $24.99 and up and not the best quality. But you know what? Let's do them. So I got her these two and she's so excited to get them. So next time I see her in Dallas, um, I'm going to go ahead and give them to her. So um, Madewell jeans are definitely for the win. And I'm going to keep them up here so, they, so I don't create clutter. And then I also got that sweater for her. This is a beautiful black sweater. I have like halogens, I have Vince Theories versions of this sweater. So I really don't need any more black sweaters, but she does. And so I was like, you know, it's a good outfit. 50 bucks for three Madewell pieces. This one alone was $80. 138 or 128 each a jean. 50 bucks for all three. Classic core, can never go out of style. These are things you can wear again and again in her closet. So I'm super happy to have to have helped her find some good uh, wardrobe items in her collection. Let me show you the things that I got. So I got this one at the second rack. This is the only thing that I bought at the second rack. And this is a Nanushka top. This top I ended up wearing for a dinner. Uh, Joey's uh, Uptown in Houston. Actually, when I was at Joey's Uptown at the Galleria, guys, on Saturday, there was a that happened literally i was there when it happened i was sitting down enjoying my nice you know beautiful dinner with my beautiful family and a whole mix out outside of the restaurant outside of joey and outside of the webster and where ballet is can you believe that that is crazy i can't even go shopping and peace miss thing um but i'm gonna show you the outfit that i wore um i was wearing my beautiful lana necklaces i was wearing uh, my tom ford glasses obviously i took them off for dinner but i wanted to have them on for the for um for the picture obviously i wanted to Feel the fantasy, and this is the top. It is a nushka, and it is in a size large. Um, I did wear them with my Kate trousers, which are very skinny, um, very tight fitting. So this kind of loose top was more appropriate. I can wear this open. I can wear this loose. So 
so I just got it. I kind of like the material. This material is very nice. It's very breathable for here in the Houston weather. And I have seen this at the rack, like every time that I go at that particular rack ever since I moved here. I think the rack price, because um, a lot of racks and what they do now because people take a switch and stuff, is you can open it up on the inside and they actually have like the tag, especially for designers. So the rack price when it got there was $104.96. This over there, it, it was already like even more discounted so it was $55 and then I got the 40% off of it for an Anushka top really great quality I really like the little button details I like that it matches the fabric I like that it's just a nice top and it's printed it's floral perfect for spring and it's just kind of like a nice top just to kind of wear when you don't know what to wear it's just something that's very you know easy to wear so um, I consider this one and it's also like the Chanel perfume that I have on um, and it's just such an easy throw on item and so I was like, you know what you can never go wrong with this good material something very nice Usable kind of like a oversized pajama shirt. Look at that button detail the buttons on this is what really really sold me on it So um, I'm super glad I do have a few new Nushka items in my closet and I do quite like them um, I bought this ATF shirt. I actually wore it that I had a dinner the, that same day and ended up wearing it out So it ended up being nine dollars from 70 bucks size large a very boxy goes well with my equity jeans goes well with everything just a black classic good quality tee and now i see why people rave and rave and rave and rave about atm shirts so i'm probably gonna have to buy a white one uh, probably full price because that's how much i love it and so sometimes that's what happens when you get refurbished items it's like sometimes you just feel like you, you know if you love it you kind of want them in other styles and now you're kind of forced to kind of pay up on um, you know full price for the item and this is definitely one of them but nine bucks from a shirt that was 70 bucks atm nothing wrong with it classic and i love atm atm makes really great quality basics i would say it's kind of up there with kind of james pierce kind of like uh, that same quality i did get these aloe leggings i did already wear these um i already washed them and everything these ones were 33 plus um the 40 percent off just classic aloe leggings that i love 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 so much they have the pockets in here and it is just a classic black legging that kind of looks like a little bit of a trouser small my size and i can wear them with a sweatshirt i can wear them with tank tops i can wear them with everything i already have a few aloe pieces um, i have an aloe yoga mat so it's just kind of uniform with a lot of things that i have and this one feels more of a cottony material but not super super cottony because then with cottony they make they have like a little bit of pilling i feel like this one's not going to pill anytime soon so i can believe i found aloe leggings black in my size and then i the last thing that i got are these kasubi denim these were already refurbished so that means they were there for a while and they had another marked up for 44.96 from uh i believe these were for 215 or 220 and then i had that extra 40 percent off so 45 plus 40 percent off i will say do you guys keep if any of you own this brand or have seen this brand um, do you guys keep the tag on them or do you take them off? I know I see some people keep them on can people take them off I don't want to look ridiculous if I keep it on I would definitely love to hear your opinion on them uh, But they're just a black jean and you can never go wrong with them um, It has a little bit of rips, but you guys know I already have so many black jeans But I feel like you can never add enough denim into your collection uh, for me I'm a big big denim lover and so I like to have denim from a lot of my favorite brands okay, so That's all I picked up from the rack. I really like everything I got stuff for my friends I got Ugg boots, I got an Anushka fun top, I got the ATMT, ATMT, like I got, I love everything that I picked up, I think it was very thorough, for four racks for me to pick up uh, five pieces of uh, five items, um, I love everything, I think everything's gonna get worn, everything's already gotten worn except the Ugg boots and the jeans just because I haven't had a chance and the Ugg boots are obviously off season, but if you did shop the 40% off event, let me know what you guys ended up picking, um, like I said, always go to Nordstrom Rank, there's always a lot of great things and I'll leave my favorite Houston locations favorite to least favorite down below if you are ever interested um, in checking out the Nordstrom Racks here in the Houston area. I also post a lot of great uh, informative content on my TikToks so if you do want to check that out. I already hit over 10,000 uh, followers in less than a month, which I appreciate all you guys for the love and support. I know a lot of you guys came from my TikTok videos and supporting Sergio Secret on the YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. But yeah, guys, let me know what you've been. Let me know if you found any recent finds at Nordstrom Rack and leave them leave them down below. I will say the Houston racks are not the best as Dallas, but um, it's better than nothing. At least we have a few locations here. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll leave the links for everything down below. And if any of these items are still available, if you want to inquire about any anything about them, I'll leave the link down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this Nordstrom Rack video.